economist, Aurelie Greetings from Guatemala. My name is Richard Schmaltz. I'm the executive director here in Camino Seguro, or as you would know us in the Western world as Safe Passage. In 2012, we have some exciting news to share with you. We will be opening up a school of our own here in the Guadalajara. And because it's going to be a school of our own, we will no longer call it the Guadalajara because Guadalajara means daycare. So we will now have to change the name joyously to Escuelita, meaning little school. And why this is such good news for us is that historically in the last several years, particularly our five and six year olds, have had to attend public school half a day. And therefore, we felt that we weren't able to impact upon them at the same level that we would like to do uh, from an educational perspective. So as of 2012, we're going to have them with us full time. And the other wonderful thing is that they're going to be recognized by the uh, the government and they will all receive student codes which is why we had to uh, send them to the public school previously to ensure that they would have access to the public school for grade one and grade two and etc. So I'd also like to share with you a little bit about the reaction of the families. When we had to uh, explain to the families that they would have to register just a bit as if it was a, a regular school and because it was going to be a regular school but not a public school they had to pay a fee. It was the only way that we could legally exist. So we were kind of wondering how would they feel about uh, having to uh, pay a fee, which actually was just 10 cents a day or, or $2 uh, a month. And interestingly, without hesitation, there was unanimous accord in regards to the good news. But I want to tell you about what happened as the meeting progressed. When it suddenly dawned on the mothers what it was that their children were going to receive, something that they had never had access to in their own lives and never thought that their children would ever have access to a school with quality education. When one of the mothers started to express her feelings of gratitude, she started to cry. She couldn't finish what she was saying. And as I looked around the room, I saw other mothers tearing up. For me, it was a powerful moment. It was a powerful confirmation that our staff and the board of directors were on the right track of trying to elevate the level and quality of education we were providing for the most compromised children in Guatemala who live in the barrio here in the Guatemala City Dump community. Thank you so much.